Boy, he missed a give me right there. And then Bryant comes out of there with it for great balls. Brings it straight down the lane, dishes it underneath the people, puts it up, missed it. Offensive rebound and stripped away by McLeish. Last touch by McLeish. It'll go back to great balls. Great Good hustle by McLeish getting underneath there real quick, making Brian have to give it up and almost got a steal out of it. Bounce pass comes in and block shot. They call jump ball. Nice shot by Rio Logan. He tied up Clark inside and they'll jump it up. It's a good little out bounce move right there by Jason Clark. Clark will step in to jump it up against Logan. We've played a minute and a half, and the Miners lead three to nothing. <laughs> Throw it up. Tap will be controlled by Great Falls. <laughs> Left side, Carter. <laughs> He'll go down inside the burrow. <laughs> Outside people. Shot put up, no good, but a foul. Peoples will go to the line for two for Great Falls. Trying to pick up and <clears throat> see if I can get their averages here. Four. When you look at the Great Falls team, there are almost 30 people that's been on this team so far this year. First free throw up and good by Michael Peoples and Great Falls with their first point. They trail three to one. There he is. Second one good. Finished three to two. Michael Peoples, is, I'm sorry, he's a 75% free throw shooter. I was trying to find his name on the stats here. There are about 30 some players that they've had so far. McLeish right beside the crane. Crane looks inside, gets it down to Rio Logan. Logan thought about going to Blue Jackson, but instead he goes to McLeish. As he cuts to the basket, he put it up. No good, but draws the foul. Jason McLeish will go to the line for the minors. Jason McLeish, he's a 81% free throw shooter. In the last couple games that we've got to see, Jamie, he's really been uh, the key on the free throw line as he hits that one. I think the other night he went 13 for 14 from the free throw line. 42 Miners lead it. McLeish second one on the way. Got them both. 5-2 Miners. 9.45 to go first quarter. Carter. The foul by McLeish. He tried to drive by him down the uh, left side of the lane. He called a foul on Jason McLeish. We're going to see 56 fouls tonight, Jamie. The other night was 56 fouls called in that, uh, that Albany game. 61 is the record. Carter tried to go back out on top. McLeish knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with Great Falls. Great Falls is really trying to get that, establish that baseline and really uh, trying to get that easy shot. Still looking to get it in. Comes in the left corner to Burrow. Burrow goes to Bryant. Bryant on the drive, put it up. Air ball, rebound off the crane. Crane into front court with it, hands it off to McLeish. McLeish pulls up with a jumper from the elbow. Good, Jason McLeish. Jason McLeish already with four of the seven points tonight for the Miners. Miners lead it 7-2. Carter looking for a screen, gets one, fires a three, no good. Rebound off to Logan for the Miners. He'll give it off to McLeish. McLeish out on top, goes right down the lane, cut off in the right corner. Looks for help now. Gets it to Boo Jackson. Jackson goes in the corner to McLeish. He'll fire a three. Good. They call it a two. Saves foot was on the line. But Jason McLeish heating up early. Six points already. The Miners lead nine to two. Here's Burroughs. He'll pull up over Rio Logan. No good. Rebound Crane. Well, one and done for Great Falls. Crane out there on the dribble left side. Looks for a screen from Jackson. Doesn't get it. Now he gives it to him. Jackson. Backing down on Clark, turns, puts up a little hook shot, rolls off, and Jackson saved it. Loose ball comes off to Rio Logan. Good hustle there. Crane's got it. Takes it in on the drive, puts it up and in. Nice work, and all that was because of Boo Jackson going there for that ball. Well, Miners all over uh, great, or great falls here in the early going, Bobby. They lead 11-2. We've played four minutes. 
right now, the thing that makes a difference is Great Falls is getting one opportunity and not getting second chances right now. People's nice move with the basketball. Around McLeish laid it up off the glass and got it 11 to four minors. McLeish inside to Logan, spins and lays it in. 13 to four minors. Here's Carter, got McLeish off his feet, put it up no good, not even close. Jackson clears it. Here comes Crane out of there, two on two. Josh Pace yet to touch the ball for the Miners. Tried to go inside to Boo Jackson, knocked out of bounds. He'll stay with the Miners. Looks like Brian Northern will be checking in for the Miners. See who he's going to come in for. He's coming in for Jason McLeish. Crane will trigger it in bounds. Comes in the left corner to Pace. Pace, spins, puts it up and in. Making it look easy right now. 15 Josh. to five, excuse me, four. 15 to four, Miners by 11. 7.15 to go in the quarter. Right side, Peoples. Goes to Carter, cuts to the basket, lays it up and in. Carter got that big screen by Bryant. 15 to six, here's Pace, into the lane, cut off, gets it to Boo Jackson. Jackson throws one up, nice job getting his man off his feet, drew the foul, threw up the shot, and he'll get to go to the line for two. Fouls on Jason Clark, that's his second. You know, the last couple of teams that have came in here, Jamie, being uh, short on numbers, and no difference tonight. Great Falls only with eight players on their roster. Boo Jackson will be at the line. He'll get two. Boo's a 71% free throw shooter. He's 142 out of 200. First year. He is good. 16 to 6 minors. Take it one. Got a boat. Back out to an 11 point lead. 17 to 6. 6.54 to go, first quarter. Carter comes out on top to Green. Swing it right side to Peoples. Peoples goes to Bryant, back him down on Crane. Has it knocked loose, still loose. Comes up with it, puts it up and in, and a foul on Real Bryant. Bryant's going to get the basket. <clears throat> He's going to go to the line to convert the three-point play. Marlon Bryant is a 62% free throw shooter. He's a 38 out of 61 so far this year. Free throw good. 17-9 after the three-point play. Great falls within eight now with 6.35 to go in the quarter. Bryant Northern on the dribble in the front court, right side of Pace. Pace drives all the way to the basket, puts it up the left hand, good. 19 to 9. Carter goes to Burroughs. Burroughs working on Logan. Had it knocked loose. Miners come out of there with it. Jackson off to Bryant Northern over to Crane. Crane goes to Logan. Left baseline. Backs down on Burroughs. Turns, puts up the shot. No good, but they call the foul on Burroughs. Real Logan will go to the line for two. The foul's on Nate. Green, that's his first. Nick Green played his college days at Idaho State. They got two uh, players that played for Virginia, Burroughs and Jason Clark. I said Burroughs was the all-time leading scorer at Virginia. That comes from uh, Public Relations Director Steve LeMaster. He's on it. He's, He's on well. Anytime we need some information, he, uh, he <laughs> provides us with that information. Right, he does. Logan hits the free throw. He's 21 to 9. Miners out to their biggest lead at 12 now. 5.56 to go still here in this first quarter. Carter. Comes out on top. Burrows his jump shot good just inside the three point line. 21 to 11. Northern to Crane. Crane goes down in the right corner to Josh Pace. Pace 
Backs in. Puts it up the left hand. Rolled off. No good. Rebound comes off to Green. Great ball's looking to run with it. Carter. Picks up his dribble. Goes left corner to Bryant. Bryant gets a screen from Burroughs. Gives it back to Burroughs. He turns on Logan. Puts it up. And in. Nice little move there by Junior Burroughs. Makes it 21-13. A little over five minutes to go here in this first quarter. Pace has got it. Looks for Boot Jackson. Gets it to him on the baseline. And puts it up and in. That's too easy there, Bob. That's what I was here to say. Making it look too easy tonight. 23-13. Carter behind the back dribble out on top. Jackson comes out. Now Bryant comes. Northern comes out to get it. Carter will back it out for Great Falls. Ten on the shot clock. Goes left side of Bryant. Down to six. Green, right side to Carter. Three on the shot clock. Here's Bryant. His fadeaway shot no good. Offensive rebound put back up and in on the follow by Green. Real Logan didn't block him out. Gave him an opportunity to get that rebound and put it right back up. 23 to 15. Northern. Outside the pace. Pace looking for Crane now, left wing. Thought about the shot, didn't take it. Drives, kicks it out the pace, almost lost it out of bounds, but he runs it down. Throws it up to the end of the shot clock. No good. Not a good possession for the Miners as Bryant brings it out of there for Great Falls. Goes off the green and right baseline. Comes back out on top now to Bryant. 3.50 to go in the quarter. Miners by 8, 23-15. Bryant kicks it out to Burrow. Late team footer, no good. Rebound Crane for East Kentucky. Crane looking for pace. Double teamed in the right corner. Drives in, kicks it back out to Crane. He'll fire one up straight away. Short. Great ball comes out of there on the run with it. Carter underneath the burrow lays it in. Nice pass right there to Burrows. 23-17. They've got it down to six. The trail buys me as 12. Northern out on top. Lost it, but got it to Pace. Pace to Logan. Logan backing down Burroughs, turns around, puts it up too hard, rebound Green. Miners have suddenly gone cold here. Kind of went away from what they were doing at the beginning of the game. Carter backs it out now straight away, works off on the right wing, looks down inside, goes over top of Northern, shot put up by Bryant, blocked by Logan, but they call the foul on Rio Logan, and Bryant will go to the line. Cut this to four right here. Looks like they're going to be a timeout on the floor. That's an Appalachian Wireless timeout, so we'll take one as well. You're listening to East Kentucky Minor Basketball on Q95, Eastern Kentucky's best. Hey, uh. About 12, Bobby, and since then, the floors have run off six straight. They led 23 to uh, 11, actually. Uh, Six straight points have got it down to six. And like you said, Brian at the line here, two free throws could get them within four. And we said it all season long, Bobby. A 12, 15 point lead in the CBA game, that doesn't amount to too much. Not at all. Uh, and they know, the Miners know that as well. And they definitely don't want to let it happen what happened the other night. Brian, a 75% free throw shooter, connects on the first one. It's the first, and it's 23 18. You can get them within four this second one. Second one up, good. 23-19, the closest that uh, Great Falls has been since the first minute of the game. Northern's got it. Outside to Dean. Dean, Dean throws up a tough shot, no good, but draws a foul, and Mike Dean will go to the line. Marlon Bryant, I believe that's what he's gonna be caught on him. That's his first, team's fourth. Mike Dean, a will be going to the line. Mike Dean, a 85% free throw shooter. 134 out of 157 free throws he's shot so far this season. We got another timeout on the floor. It's an Appalachian Wireless timeout. So with that, we'll take another break. You're listening to East Kentucky Miners basketball on Q95, Eastern Kentucky's best. 
Play 10 seconds. No timeout. Well, you know, I think they missed one early. Welcome back to Expo Center. Mike Dean at the free throw line for two as they lead 23 to 19 with two minutes and 28 seconds to go here in this first quarter. This is the third of a six game homestand for the Miners as they will play again Wednesday and this weekend on a Saturday and Sunday. Dean's first free throw, Bobby Good, 24 19. The Miners break a drought to. Uh, Get a point here, and they'll try to get the uh, second one with Dean's free throw. It's on the way, and this one no good. Rattles out green, clears it out of there for Great Falls. Pele, Pele in there now for Great Falls. Spins on Dean, lays it up and in. Pele, Pele. What a name. 24-21. Miners now only with a three-point lead. Northern on the run, put it up on Slice to the basket, got it to go, 26-21. And still on the inbounds, and Dean knocks down the shot, draws the foul, and it'll go to the line. And just like that, four or six quick points for the line. About a 28-21 lead. Good hustle by Mike Dean right there to steal that basketball and take it up and didn't get fouled by Nate Green. Green with two fouls as Dean goes to try for a three-point play here. Got it. 29-21, and what was down to three, now back out to an eight-point lead for the Miners. 158 to go in the quarter. Carter over the Peoples. In the corner, it goes back to Carter. His jump shot rattled out no good, and then on the rebound, we got a foul. I think it's on Boo Jackson. That's his first team's fifth here in this first quarter. And down comes to Carter. Northern will come out and pick him up. Off to Pele, his three is good. Pele, Pele has played about 30 seconds, five points. 29, 24, down to five point minor lead. A minute and a half to go, first quarter. Northern. Almost has it taken away. Goes right side to Dean. Down to Pace. Pace out on the wing again to Dean. Dean on the drive in. Kicks it back to Pace, and they call a foul on Dick Flores. Let's see who it's on. Number 23, Peoples. We've got all these young Bobcats here taking a, taking turns in these recliner chairs. I'm going to take my turn. <laughs> I asked if we could possibly could do our game from the recliner chairs, but uh, they was afraid that we'd go sleep, I believe. <laughs> that foul is going to put Dean at the line. Two shots for Dean. Dean's already two for three from the free throw line. Is he going to get two right here? First one, no good. Yeah, the Bitsling A, B, and C team being treated tonight for the successful all-county tournament that they won, A, B, and C. 30-24. to 24. Miners back out to a six-point lead, 105 to go in the quarter. And on top, Arrington. Arrington had it stripped away. Here comes Pace out of there, three on two for the Miners. Pace, nice pass to Dean. He lost the handle and ran it down, though. Gives it off to Hurd, and Hurd has it stripped away. And here comes Pele out of there with it. Off the people, people underneath the Carter, puts it up and in. Pele really gives them some energy. 30 to 26, Miners by four now, 45 seconds. Boy, what a spin move by Northern, but he missed it. Loose ball, Boo Jackson comes out with it, puts it up and he's fouled. See, that tells you why Boo Jackson is third in CBA and rebounds in the league, because that guy really works hard on the offensive and defensive side. To get those rebounds. Two free throws for Boo Jackson. First one in the air and no good. Miners struggling a little here from the free throw line in the first quarter, Bobby. 
Boo, a 71% free throw shooter. He's already two for two until then. Now he's two for three. Second one up and good. 31-26, five-point lead for the Miners. 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Carter will walk it into front court. Picked up by Northern. Off the screen, pull up, give it out on top to Arrington. Arrington's free throw line jumper, good. 31-28. Three-point lead now with 22 seconds to go in the quarter. 20 seconds. 17 on the shot clock. Northern will back it out now. Now he'll drive right by, put it up, and foul. He draws a foul as he goes up. Call a foul on Arrington. That's going to be his second. Arrington, a uh, pretty intimidating uh, presence inside for Great ball, 6-11. Definitely makes it uh, hard to get around him. Another missed free throw by Brian Northern. Just his showed right there as he tried to take it to the hole. <clears throat> and it was either get fouled or uh, try to make the shot as he tried to stay away from America. Second one good. 32-28, Miners by four with 12 seconds to go here in the quarter. Pele drives by Dean all the way in, puts it up, no good, but draws the foul. Pele had that first quick step on Dean, and Dean either had to let him take an easy layup or foul. Pretty impressive little guard right there. And he, you know, he coming off quick, the bench. Quick. Pele's first trip tonight. He hits the first one. Pele is a 65% free throw shooter, 13 for 20 so far this year. We've got a 30-second uh, timeout taken by, by the Great Falls Explorers, a Appalachian Wire timeout. We'll keep it here. 32 to 29. They'll have one more free throw to come. Get within two here. Six seconds to go in the quarter, and this is a uh, like we've seen several times this season. At the time tonight, that first quarter. That you can see the miners just going to run away with this basketball game. Then they'll come down on two or three possessions and not be too successful and give an opportunity for explorers to get back in this basketball game. And I think really who's made a big difference in the Great Falls team is this Pele. Pele's come off the bench, and since he's been in there, he's already got six points. This right here could be a seven. Got it. 32 to 30, and now picking up full four here. Dean, going to be. What they call, they're looking at each other, the officials. Oh, they're going to give it back to them. Both officials looked at each other. Nobody knew what to call them. They're going to give the ball to the Great Falls. And Kevin Keithley said, can you, are you kidding me? <laughs> Dean knocked out of bounds. Four seconds here, and the Great Falls, a chance to tie or take the lead. Carter's got it with two. He'll put up the shot, had it blocked by Dean. And that's the end of the first quarter. After one quarter of play, the Miners lead the Explorers. 32 to 30. We'll take a one minute break and be back on 295 FM Eastern Kentucky's best. Oh, yes. They're half court offense, I mean, half court defense. It'll be a great fall ball. As they trail by four, 120 to go in this first half. Inbound pass comes in to Carter. He'll bring it up for the explorers. Carter. Off the screen from Green, goes right side now, two peoples. Down in the right corner with it to Bryant. He'll pull up the little eight-footer over top of the Jackson. Good. Jackson. Good. 61-59, Miners by two, one minute to go in the half. One minute, one minute for me. McLeish floats it out straight away to Dean. Right corner it goes to Pace. Pace bends, looks for help now. A little fadeaway shot rolled off, tipped up, no good, knocked out of bounds by Hurd. It'll go back to Great Falls. Right now, Great Falls can tie the game or take the lead here. Miners led by two after one quarter. They lead by two now with 42 seconds left in the first half. Carter with it. He's got it out top of the lane, goes right side now to people. Boy, Burroughs really jockeying with Boo Jackson inside. They get it to Burroughs, spins on Boo Jackson, puts it up, but no good. Loose ball, Jackson comes out there with it with 22 seconds. Miners could take the last shot here. McLeish 
<laughs> Kevin Keithley says, bring it back out. We're going to play for the final shot. Down to 10 seconds. Miners with a ball and a two-point lead. Seven seconds. Starts to work now. Drives in. Has it knocked away. Don't get a shot off, and that's the end of the first half. After one half of play, the score, the East Kentucky Miners 61, and the Great Falls Explorers 59. We're going to take a two-minute break, and we'll be back. You're listening to a Minor Basketball on 295 FM, Eastern Kentucky's Best. If they successfully complete those shots, they will have only one attempt to make a half. Fire up a long three, no good. Rebound Jackson. Nobody. Off to McLeish. Four white jerseys under there. McLeish dribbled it off his foot, runs it down, back out at midcourt. 10-20 to go, third quarter. Miners with a two-point lead, 63-61. McLeish goes to Boo Jackson inside, put it up no good. Rebound explores. Neither team really much, too much in sync, Bobby. Not here in this second half. Here's a shot missed in close by Peoples. The rebound, Boo Jackson. Off the pace, quickly to McLeish. McLeish down the lane. Puts up the shot. Good. Shoot the layup by McLeish is good. Reminded back to a four-point lead. I don't see how he got that underneath Jason Clark. To get the, the shot off. Is that on top to Clark? To Bryant. Not the people. Thought about the three. Now drives by pace. Pulls up with it. No good. Boo Jackson clears it out of there. Gives it off to McLeish. McLeish in the left corner to Crane. Crane backing down on Bryant. And he's fouled by Bryant. Well, Mike Crane is a... Uh, that man that's lost all confidence for the shot. Yeah, again, before he got hurt, if he had an opening look, he'd take it. And right now, he's uh, he can shoot the ball. He's gun shy. McLeish out on top. Screen from Boo Jackson. Backs it out on the right wing. Bounce pass goes to uh, Pace. Ooh! Oh, Pace for the walk. Wow. He did. Uh, he was quick at it. I think it was more of a head fake than what the, the feet shuffle. Carter to Burroughs. Back in the right corner to Carter. Carter drives, cut off. Nice pass underneath the Burroughs. He lays it up and in, and we are 65-63. Miners with a two-point lead. <laughs> McLeish to pace. Out now, and there's Crane. Be there, Bob. Wide open look. Won't take a shot. Here's McLeish, he'll fire one up. Oh, good, McLeish. 67-63, back to a four-point lead for the Miners. Carter, goes to Burrow. Burrow spins on Logan, picks it up, no good, rebound Pace. Miners running, Pace down the lane, puts it up, no good, rebound Burrow. Burrow, off to Bryant, Bryant. It up, got it. Nice pass, Bryant. Easy layup there. Now we're still only two point lead for the Miners, 67 65. 7.47 to go, third quarter. Please bounce pass left corner to Crane. Crane on the drive underneath the Boo Jackson. Nice pass. Boo just couldn't handle it, and here comes. Big floor the other way. Burrow spins, he puts it up, in, and we are tied at 67. Right now, Great Falls is just out hustling yeah. our miners, and miners are not really taking care of the basketball. Uh, Coach Keithy is not happy. Pace out to Crane on top. Some more standing right now that I've seen the miners do all season, Bobby. Nobody's moving. There's no. Uh, no ball moving. Nobody sitting screens. They want to get a foul. They call Burroughs for a reach in on pace, and it'll go back to the minors here. 7 8 to go in the quarter in the tie game at 67. Here's Boo Jackson backing down strong, lays it in. That's what he's got to do right there. He just back down to the basket, put it up and in. 69 67 minors. 
Good shot put up an end to the other end by Clark. And a 10-foot jumper, we're tied at 69. McLeish, pull up good. McLeish, little guy, but he can flat take over a game, Bob. Sure can. 71-69, back to a two-point lead for the Miners. Well, I'm surprised we've not seen Pele. I mean, I think he was the one who really opened it up for Great Falls. Well, Clark working the board, has it taken away by Rio Logan. Off the pace. Pace down the lane, puts it up. Good, and a foul. That's Burroughs. That's going to be his third. They're not going to give him the pass. Nope. Call it on the floor, Bob. Take it out in front of the explorer's bench. Josh Pace will be the one throwing it in. Pace comes into my sleep. McLeish throws the ball back to Pace. Pace wasn't even out of bounds. He hadn't even came in from out of bounds yet. He turned the ball over. Mental mistake, 71-69. Miner still two-point lead, 6-12 to go third quarter. Great balls with the basketball. Clark and Logan really dropped in inside. Here's Burroughs. Boy, missed the give me. Boy, we, look. Bryant just hanging on the rim for great ball. Nothing called. Here's McLeish underneath the boot. Jackson, and he got the layup. McLeish off the ball. Jackson comes up with it. He gets the two. 73-69 minus. Here's Burrow. Ten-footer rolls off. No good. Pace for the board. He's in the front court with it. Out on the left wing. Into the lane. Picks it up. No, man. Now great ball running. Three on two. Carter all the way in. Put it up. Good. Nice little head fake. Feel like he's going to go inside, went towards the baseline, laid it up. 73 71 Miners. 5.20 to go, third quarter. McLeish all the way in. He threw it away. Tried to go to Boo Jackson. Ball's on the floor. Jackson's got it. And we've got a. Boo Jackson was trying to call a timeout. They ended up calling a jump ball. Turnovers here early in this second half have really uh, caused some trouble for the Miners. And there's going to be an Appalachian Wireless timeout. We'll take one as well. You're listening to East Kentucky Miners basketball on Q95, Eastern Kentucky Bank. West Virginia and the official bank sponsor of your East Kentucky Miners is proud to sponsor the fan in the stand. Thanks, Kyle. Spend that money wisely, young man. Pele uh, still on the bench for the Explorers. Blue Jackson and Jason Clark will jump it up here with five minutes and 12 seconds to go. Miners lead by two, 73-71. Keep it to Bobby Hackle. Jump over one more time. I had the I had the open look right here. I'm gonna re-jump. Bad control by the miners. McLeish has got it. Three on the shot clock though. He's got to hurry. Fires a long three. No good. Long rebound comes off though to Clark for Great Falls. Five minutes exactly to go. Third quarter. Miners with a two-point lead. All the way in, Carter puts it up, no good. Rebound off to McLeish. Got pace on the run out, doesn't get it to him. McLeish inside to Logan, he missed the shot. Loose ball, Clark's got it. Off to Carter. Three on three, Carter down the lane by McLeish. Kicks it out in the wing to Bryant. Bryant on the drive, kicks it over in the baseline. Ooh. Two miners collided underneath there, McLeish and Rio Logan. They call what they call the charge on Great Falls. Yeah, they call a charge. That's a foul. Twenty-two, Marlon Bryant. Marlon Bryant. That's going to be his. Turnover, Miners ball. I understand. We give it back to the Miners. Right. That's going to be his third. Four thirty to go, third quarter. Miners with the ball, two-point lead, seventy-three, seventy-one. Right wing, Crane. 
Crane. Drives into the lane. All the way to the basket. Lays it in. Right, Lays it down lane. Nice move by Mike Crane. That's only four points tonight for Mike Crane. 75, 71. Miners back to a four-point lead. 4-10 four to go in the quarter. Out to Peoples. Peoples has it knocked away. Loose ball tied up by Crane. And jump Crane will jump it up with Peoples for great ball. <laughs> Several jump balls tonight here, especially two here in the last minute. Floor looks a little tired. You look out there at him. Big Jason Clark uh, down on his uh, holding himself up by his knees. Take a long time to throw it up. <laughs> Tap controlled by Great Falls. Carter. Get out to Green. Shot thrown up. Shot violation. Violation. On Great Falls. It'll go back to the Miners. 75 71. Miners with the lead. 3.50 to go, third quarter. The police with the ball out on top. Goes right side to Crane. Jackson posting up in there, takes the, the uh, pass, turn around, puts it up, rolls in. Boo Jackson. Jackson. Oh, Miners back up by six now. Three and a half to go, third quarter. Here's Peoples' jump shot. Good. That's good by Mike Peoples. 77, 73. That's Peoples' first basket here in the second half. Ace with it. To Boo Jackson. Jackson backing down on Clark, kicks it out to Crane. Shoots it out. Drives all the way to the hole, puts it up and in. Crane driving down the lane. Now he's starting to take the ball to the basket a little bit, Bobby. Last two possessions, four points for Crane. 79 73, Miners back by six. Here's Carter on the run, put it up on. Got some good five points. Nice in the basket, got it. 79 75, changing basket. Here's McLeish all the way in, throws it up, no good. Out of bounds, it'll go to Great Falls. Police a little out of control. I was going to say, that's one of the few times you've seen the police a little out of control. Out of wireless timeout on the court. He was hoping to maybe possibly get a foul, but no dice and the ball to go back to the Explorer. We have an Appalachian wireless timeout on the floor, so we'll take one as well. You listen to the East Kentucky Miners basketball on Q95, Eastern Kentucky's best. Greg Chandler of Walmart. Greg will be making a presentation Check presentation to the American Cancer. Against these Great Falls Explorers at 7.05. And this weekend, as Minot, the number one team in the American Conference, 24-8 comes to town for two games for Saturday and Sunday. Explorers with the ball, Bobby. We get back to play, 2.40 to go, third quarter. They trail by four, 79-75. Peoples takes it from Carter. Has it rejected by Josh Page. What a block. Rio Logan comes out of there with it. Off to McLeish. Miners with numbers. Over to Pace. Three on two. Pace underneath. Tried to go to Crane. Knocked away from him. He'll stay with the Miners. As nice job right there from Green. The big man for Great Falls. He was uh, definitely down in numbers and knocked the ball away from Pace. Lou Jackson's got it on the inbound. Comes out on top to Rio Logan. Gives it to McLeish with seven on the shot clock. Place on the drive. He's got an open look for a three. No good. Offensive board. Pace back up and in on the follow. 81-75. Miners back by six now. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Carter to Burrow. Spins on Logan. Puts it up. No good. Tipped up. No good. Lou Jackson comes out of there with it. Gets it off the crane. Crane out on the wing, puts it up, left hand, good. We'll run here by the Miners to end this quarter, Bobby. They're leading now by eight. 
Carter slows it up now for Great Falls. Works off to the right wing. Now kicks it out straight away to Burroughs. They'll give him the shot. He won't take it. Kicks it back right wing again to Carter. Down on the baseline with it. Here's a fadeaway shot by Bryant. No good. Tipped around. No good. Boo Jackson comes out of there with it. Bryant, boy, nice hustle right there as he tried to get a timeout, but it goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the minors with 109 to go in the quarter. I think this has been the uh, last two minutes has been the most important part of the game for the Miners. Bobby, they scored the last six points to build an eight-point lead. I think the big success was that to Mike Crane. Uh, definitely uh, moving, putting that ball on the floor, taking it to the hole, and been very successful here in this third quarter. Under a minute to go, third quarter. Miners with an eight-point lead. Dean in the game now for Crane. He's got it, gets it down the left corner to Josh Pace. Pace working on people. Now he just pulls up with a shot and air ball. Rebound comes off to Burroughs. Burroughs will give it off to Carter with 42 seconds. Carter now double team. Goes to Green. Green inside the Burroughs, lays it in, and he's fouled. Burroughs right there on that block. Got the look. Got the shot off. Nobody really on him. Three seventy-seven. He'll try to convert the three-point play here. Got it. Eighty-three seventy-eight. Big quarter for Burroughs. Already nine points in this quarter alone. Down to thirty seconds left in the quarter. The Miners with the ball. They lead eighty-three seventy-eight. Pace all the way into the lane. Puts it up. Good. Wild pace. Starting to challenge people inside. Taking it to the basket. He gets it. Eighty-five seventy-eight lead now for the Miners. Now Carter, slow it up, 10 seconds. It looks like he scores. Going to play for the final shot of the quarter. Down to seven. Carter gets a screen from Burroughs. Looking inside, nobody there. Kicks it out to Green, inside to Burroughs. Zero, no good. And that's the end of the third quarter. After three quarters of play from the East Kentucky Expo Center, the Miners lead the uh, Great Falls Explorers, 85-78. Back in one minute on Q95 FM, Eastern Kentucky's best. I'm sorry, with nine, six, Jason McLeish with six, Josh Pace with six, and Mike Crane with six. So four players for East Kentucky Miners all with six points apiece here in this third quarter. Using your basketball knowledge, explain why this is the first time we're seeing Pele in the second half. Don't make sense to me. Pele had 15 points in the first half. And played and, one quarter. And played one quarter and had, did not see him now until the fourth quarter. Miners with the ball, fortunate for them. They lead by seven with 11.50 to go in the game. They've got the ball, Dean with it, left corner. Drives in, tried to dish it underneath, ball stripped away by Burrow. They give it off to Pele. Pele to Peoples, down inside they go to Green. He put it up, missed it. Back up and missed it. And then they call a foul on Boo Jackson. Green had two opportunities right underneath the basket, missed both of them. Boo Jackson gets called for the foul. But it's on the floor. That's uh, Boo's third. The inbounds comes in to Pele. He'll fire up the long one. This one no good. Rebound battle for it. Pace comes out with it. Come out, try to double him, give it out to Hurd. He'll fire up a long one that's no good. Rebound, Great Falls coming the other way. Inside to Burroughs. Burroughs turns on Hurd, puts it up off the glass, rolls up, out, tipped in by people. 85-80. Miners now by five with 10.50 to go in the game. McLeish, left side to Pace. Pace into the lane, hands it to Boo Jackson. Jackson looks, puts it up and in. 87-80 minus. Pele with it in the front court. Screen spins on McLeese, takes it all the way in, put it up, good and a foul. 
I tell you, they're having a difficult time of guarding Pele. He's got a real quick first step. He'll get the three-point opportunity for a three-point play right here. Missed it, Bob. Rebound, Marcus Hurd, 87-82. We've not seen Lawrence Barnes or Byron Allen all night tonight. That's unusual, too. Lawrence Barnes, who played the other night, started. Started and played quite a bit of minutes. McLeish with it out on the wing. Good fire up the jumper, no good. Rebound, battle for it, loose ball, still loose. Pele comes out with it, gets it quickly off the green. Green races the other way, puts it up and in. Just like that, Bobby, 87-84. Miners down, lead down to three. 9.48 to go. That's Nate Green's first two points of the second half. 11 at halftime. McLeish over to Hurd. To Mike Dean. Dean tried to take it in the lane, lost the handle on it, gets it inside to Bruce Jackson, it's taken away. They turn it over. Here comes Brian out of there with it. Off the green, green underneath the people, puts it up and in. Timeout, Kevin Keatley, he's seen enough. The Miners will take an Appalachian Wireless timeout at 9.24 to go in the game. And the score of the Miners 87, the Explorers 86. Back in one minute on Q95 FM, Eastern Kentucky's best. Miners is not really taking care of the basketball and uh, put them in a, a situation where they had a seven point lead dwindled down to one. 87-86, Bobby, you're right. They're going to have to uh, start taking care, of, better care of the basketball. And, uh, right now you've got uh, two guys that uh, you seem to think might be in there. McLeish out of the lineup for Coach Kevin Keefley and Mike Crean also. Good ball handler out of that lineup right now. You've got uh, Northern, Dean, Boo Jackson, Marcus Hurd, and Josh Pace in the lineup for the Miners. 9.08 to go in the game. They lead by one inside the herd. Nice pass from Pace, and Hurd's got the easy two. Marcus, Marcus Hurd, a big force inside for the Miners. 89.86, Miners lead by three now. 8.54 to go in the game. Down to Burroughs, right corner. Backs down on Hurd. Boy, he threw that elbow, no call, puts it up and in. Man, that's a, he just kind of bulled his way in there, Bobby. Sure did. Used that left hand. 89.88, Pace with it right side. Nice shot, has it blocked by people, and then they throw it away. Miners going to get the ball back here. Big man here in this second half for the Explorers. That has been Burroughs. Miners ball here as they uh, clean up underneath the basket. 8.30 to go, and they lead by one at 89-88. You know, if you look at the score here in this second half, Jamie Burroughs with 11 points, and he only had six at halftime. Uh, Carter and Peoples both with six points apiece. And so right there has been your three top players for the Explorers here in this second half. That's really made a difference in this 89-88 score. Pace will get it in bounds, hands it off to Bryant Northern. Northern working on Pele. Gets the screen, gets it out straight away to Hurd. Hurd tried to go to Boo Jackson. Kicked out of bounds by Jackson. They'll give it to Great Falls. By now, Explorers really stepped up their defense, putting a lot of pressure on the ball. And that seemed like something that happened the other night with Albany putting pressure on the ball and then a lot of turnovers for the Miners and gave Albany the opportunity to win that basketball game the other night. Pele with it, out left side, bounce pass in the left corner. Two people goes right around Dean and jams it. Woo! Tough move from people. 90, 89. Is that the first lead for the Explorers First lead tonight? for the Explorers tonight. With eight minutes to go in the game. They lead by one now. Pace with it, left side. And they got a blocking foul going to go on Bryant. Right now, Bobby, you start looking. This is a team that won eight games and uh, lost 19 this year. And every second that goes, and they're hanging around this game, you're starting to see them gain confidence. And that was one thing that Coach Keithy was worried about. That was a team coming here kind of renew basketball team, and they're really uh, putting it to the minors tonight. Here's McLeish, works against Pele, out to Hurd, he'll crank up a long one, no. Rebound comes off to uh, Bryant. Bryant 
Throws it away. Trying to go to Burroughs. And threw it over his head out of bounds. Burroughs was open. He just couldn't get it to him. Got an over three. Oh, what Tom Brady did last night, a couple of his passes, <laughs> over through his receivers. So sorry for him. <laughs> 7.35 left. Miners with the ball. They trail by one. McLeish goes to Mike Dean. Dean right side. It had Boo Jackson. Doesn't get it to him. Now Dean takes it in, puts it up. No good. Offensive rebound. Boo Jackson up nothing. Had his uh, headband knocked off his head, Bobby. Nothing called. And here comes Bryant to the other end of the floor. Dished it underneath the Peoples. Peoples has it rejected. Her tried to run it down, and it'll stay with the Explorers. Right now, Explorers just out hustling. The Miners is leading by one point. Right now, Jason McLeish back in the lineup. Got to get something going for the Miners here with seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. They trail by one. Here's Pele, a three-pointer. Yes. Already five points here in the second half. He ain't played two minutes. 93-89. Miners face their biggest deficit of the night. They trail by four. Here's McLeish all the way to the hole. Puts it up and in. Boy, what a move by McLeish. 93-91. Explores all the way to the other end. Pele. Here's a shot put up and in. Underneath by Peoples. Miners, you know, they're getting offensive points, but they're just not getting any stops to defensive end. Here's Dean's long shot. No rebound. Burroughs. Floors with the ball again. They lead by four and a 6.25 to go. Bryant inside. He tried to go to Green. Off his leg out of bounds and go back to the minor. Now Crane coming back in. Dean said, take it. I don't know if I want to keep Dean in there as well for that outside shooting. Because right now, the Explorers are really bunching back in the, in the middle there and, and leaving the outside shot, but really that inside is a little tough right now. To get it, uh, they're trying to get it into Boo Jackson, and they're having a tough time. 6.15 to go in the game. And then, boy, McLeish and Hurd ran into each other. Bryant goes underneath the Peoples. He almost fell down with it, got it to Burroughs. Burroughs will put it up good. Boy, oh, boy. 97-91. Biggest lead of the night for the Explorers. It's at six with 5.57 to go. Pace out on top to Crane. Crane on the drive, and he got a foul. Looks like it might be on people. Yep. Now you can see it. You can see, you can see things starting to tighten up here late in the game. Yep. You kind of get that. They kind of get that, oh, no, here we go again feeling. And it's just, uh, I mean, it's a confidence level. That Time out. Bobby, that's the last wireless timeout. 5.49 to go in the game, and the Great Falls Explorers have taken a 97-91 lead over the Miners. Back in one minute on Q95 FM Eastern Kentucky's best. When well, they took the lead and have increased that lead to a six-point, as the Miners will get the basketball. Need some points on this possession, Bob. They trail by six, 544 to go in the game. McLeish has got it. He'll take it in and whistle, and he holding foul going to go on the floor. It's on Burroughs, and I think that's his fourth. Inbound to McLeish. McLeish threw it away. Trying to get it inside of Jackson. Another turnover. Inbound comes into people. She'll give it back to Pele. Pele cut off out on top to Burrow. Burrow spins around her, puts it up, no good. And loose ball comes out of there with it. Pace. Pace down the lane, all the way to the basket, put it up, no good, but draws the foul. Pace will get to go to the line. Last two possessions down the floor, they've not scored. Pace, his first opportunity tonight, Jamie, uh, at the free throw line. He's a 73% free throw shooter. 
Merci. Second one's up. Missed them both. Stand on me. 97-91. Still down six with five minutes to go in the game. Pele's got it. Out on the wing. Gives it off to Peoples. Peoples on the drive. Puts it up. Makes it. And a foul. Hey, Peoples just in this uh, second half. 12 points in this second half. Kevin Keefley just got a technical foul. Coach Keefley don't even know what it's over. Free throw good. Five people. Makes it 191. Makes him another one. 101 91. 10 point lead for the Explorers with 454 to go. Please. Over to Crane. Crane drives and puts it up. Good. Nice move by Crane. 101 93. Eight point lead now for the Explorers. 435 to go. Please will come out and track Carter. He's got the ball. Left corner. Drives all the way in, puts it up, has it rejected, but on the offensive rebound, Arrington. And then, oh, oh the man. stepped on the baseline as he saved it. He'll go back to the Explorers. Jay, I need to tell the, the fans out there, and y'all said Sunday's game was 7.05. On the schedule, it said 7.05, and just found out they changed that game to 4.05. Because most of all games have been 405, and I was double checking just then, and they said there was a change, mistake on the schedule. So Sunday's game, Saturday night's basketball game is 705. Sunday's game is 405. Let everybody know that. Great falls, inbounds comes in the left corner to Peoples. Peoples goes by, face kicks it out. Carter three in the air, no good, and rebound heard. 4-10 to go. Miners now down eight with the ball. Crane. Oh, shoot. Drives all the way in and dishes it to nobody. Turnover. Here they come out of there with it the other way. Peoples all the way to the basket, puts it up good. 103-93. So it's been the Peoples and Burrow show here in the second half for the Explorers. Police all the way to the basket, goes up with it, no good, but a foul. Foul's on Arrington for the Explorers, and McLeish will go to the line to shoot two. Crane had an opportunity right there. He probably had a better chance of trying to score than he could give the ball up. Last trip down the floor. Police free throw, no good. Police is three for three tonight, and that's his first one he missed. Second one up, good. 103-94. Nine-point lead for a great ball with 340 to go. Here's Carter. He'll cross in the front court with it. The police comes out to pick him up. Off the people. Down in the right corner to Burroughs. Off to Arrington. He'll put it up. No good. Ball kipped around. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Great Falls. Opportunity right there. Three minors bounced off Marcus Hurd and out of bounds. Bryant will inbound. 
into Carter. Time starting to be a uh, enemy now. 3.15 to go, Miners down nine. Carter into the lane, lost the handle on it, kicks it out to Bryant with 10 on the shot clock. He'll take it in on the drive and get fouled by Faith. Kind of out of control, but got bailed out. Bryant's going to go to the line for the Explorers. Brian will get two shots now for a great call. <laughs> First one is up and good. 104-94. Good rebound, Hurd. Quickly off to McLeish. McLeish out on top, lost his dribble, looking for help, gets it out to Hurd, and he'll give it back to McLeish. Over to Crane. Crane will drive all the way in, put it up, good, and a foul. Nice move of Mike Crane. We get an opportunity to get a three-point play here. Can do that, he can cut it to seven. We have an Appalachian Wireless timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. You're listening to East Kentucky Minor Basketball on Q95. Eastern Kentucky Spence. Miners down one now with 27 seconds to go. Here's Carter. McLeese picks him up at midcourt. Down to 14 on the shot clock. Carter drives all the way in, puts it up over her block. By Hurd, put back up and a foul. Oh. Called on the shot inside. It's going to go on Crane, and that'll put. Who is that? Is Peoples at the line? Peoples goes to the line where he is four for four for the game. Even if he makes it, it's still a three point deficit. 75% from the He'll get two. free throw line. Floors lead by one. Free throw is up and good. Nothing but the bottom of the net. It's 107-105. Explorers with 13 seconds left. Puts it up and it's good. 108-105 and a timeout taken by Kevin Keefley. Appalachian Wireless timeout on the floor. Miners trail 108-105 with 13 seconds left in the game. We'll step out for a one down by three. They're going to get the ball inbounds to Hurd. He'll hand it off to Crane. Down to nine seconds. Looks for the screen. Gives it off to Pace with four seconds. Pace will fire up the three. Make it in! A shot! Make it in with .7 seconds left on the clock! And they're going to uh, say they got a timeout. Great Falls got a timeout with .7 left on the clock. What a shot Josh by Pace. Josh Pace. Bang. Carter looking. Still looking. Gets it inbounds. And they call a foul. Oh, my. Shot is up, and it's short on the first one. Got one more. And they only said two. Looked like he was behind well, three. Second free throw by Peoples. It's up and it is good. My goodness. 109, 108. Point three. And lob it. I uh, tried to lob it to Barnes and Arrington intercepted the pass, and that's it. 109, 108. The Explorers win it by one over the Miners, Bobby. I mean, that's uh, a tough loss. I mean, the other night was a tough loss, but I think this was just even tougher. Uh, led the whole game. Fought back, tied it right there to look like that possibly you were going to overtime. And then, uh, you know, very seldom do you ever see a, a away from the basket that close of a deal get called for a foul. 
put uh, people to the line, and uh, that's where they wanted from was from the free throw line as they beat the Miners 109 to 108. We'll step out for a two-minute break. You have to wrap it up on 295 FM Eastern Kentucky's Best. 